Boy, oh boy, the cavalry is here because Overwatch 2 is down bad right now. I haven't seen as many people get together and unite since the Xbox One was trying to put DRM on the console before it launched. It's so beautiful. Honestly, Blizzard is really throwing it all away right now. Overwatch 2, man. I remember when video games were coming out. I hate to sound like an old head, but when the game was actually finished and came with more than one mode. It's sad because Overwatch 2 is no longer going to have a new innovative way for us to play when it comes to the PvE story mode that we've all been dreaming about for years to come. Honestly, it's just kind of looking like an Overwatch 1.5, or even if you want to go as far as to go to call it a 1.5, it's even worse because it's looking like Overwatch 1 with a fucking bullshit expansion, because let's be real here, the game itself is not really doing anything different from Overwatch 1, outside of being a front raiser and just robbing us all blind. It's honestly disappointing because we just get a character once in every blue moon. I don't know how many years of Overwatch 1 I already played coming into 2, and now I am just feel like I'm burnt out of the game and I can't play it anymore. There's no real motivation or drive. After dealing with GOATs, all the bullshit meta, broken characters, you know, it's whatever because they can always fix it in a patch. But after playing a game for so long, you just get tired of it, man. And not only just that, the fact that when the game is only expanding, it just gets taken away from us and then we just get a neutered version of it. Who wants that? Who was waiting for this game for so long after putting so many years into Overwatch 1 for this to be our payoff? Honestly, it's some bullshit because I know everyone wanted a story mode from the beginning. Like, we're talking about getting skill trees for all of our favorite characters and getting lore and actually having it be meaningful. But nah, that just seems like too much work. Blizzard, they just gotta focus on other things. Like, making Diablo games on phones. Or just making promises and then just spitting in our mouths right after. This company honestly feels like a shadow of its former self and it's really depressing to say the least because this is coming from the minds behind World of Warcraft, Starcraft, and Diablo. What is going on? Is it me or was Overwatch not their magnum opus? Was Overwatch not their flagship title? Where's all the passion and all the fun being put at in this game? It feels like all that and the creativity is just missing. This game is just feeling more like a statement and a safety net for Blizzard more than it is feeling like a video game. Overwatch is a great game and there's so much potential, so why are we stripping away the game's potential? When it can be so much more, why is Blizzard settling for less? That is the part that actually pisses me off most because this game is capable of doing so much. Who wants to buy a comic to learn about video game lore? Let me play the video game and learn about these characters. These characters are supposed to have so many layers, so much depth behind them, and yet it, it's like when I'm playing the game, that depth is nowhere to be seen unless I watch a Blizzard short story. I mean, that's amazing too, but you can put effort in that, but not when it comes to actually making the game. That is just so fucking asinine. Where is the ambition, Blizzard? Oh, it might be too hard, too time-consuming. Like, this is supposed to be the next step of the game that I played for almost half a decade. Grinding to get Grandmaster, and now, right here, I'm putting in money for a season pass every odd couple of months. So, Blizzard, you're getting your payoff. But for me as a player, what is my payoff for the game? I'm tired of the skins. I'm tired of the random same seasonal events, man. Oh, well, just, just shoot these uh, Plactus dummies that are actually really stupid AI that just sit there and tank damage and don't do anything meaningful or relative when it comes to the game's plot. Oh, there's a little Omnic event? Okay, we're just going to have you shoot robots. Also, you're shooting the same robots in that same Oktoberfest event that we made before when it's Halloween. Oh, no, but you can fight Junkenstein. Although it's going to be the same as fighting a fucking junk rat, but this time it's controlled by an AI wearing a skin. You know, that was cool. That was fun the first time. But come on, man. It's so disappointing because why can't I experience or see what Overwatch is actually about? There's so much going on with the world and story, but we don't get to be a part of that when it comes to the actual game. I know this is a taboo, but even Battleborn 
had a story mode alongside a PvP multiplayer. You're telling me Battleborn can go the extra mile while Overwatch can't? When these are the guys who made World of Warcraft and made some of the most in-depth games on PC to date? And we're not having a story mode with a meaningful progression system because it's too hard? When you guys made StarCraft 2, it's too hard to make a skill tree and progression system that will make a PvE component that much more fulfilling and fun and actually give me a reason to play it over the PvP? What is going on, man? What is honestly going on? So I'm assuming that we're going to be getting PvE in bits and pieces from what we're getting in this footage here. Honestly, I don't know how this game is going to stay alive. I, it may maintain somewhat of a decent player base, but it really could have expanded due to this PvP being added on to the game. And I promise you that wholeheartedly because so many people I've known for since the release of the game wanted to play the game. And it really sucks because I do not want to go back to a 20 minute waiting queue just to play the game. And this will all be due to Blizzard's own incompetence. They really got to find a way to make up for this loss of the PvE because I'm not going to hold you. I was excited. I was actually looking forward to that. That was the one thing that made me kind of want to play this game ever since I dropped it. Because I don't care for season passes. I don't want all of this stuff to be in every single game I play. And this PvE was going to be a nice change of pace. But now, what can I look forward to in the game except for maybe a new character every four to six months? And what really gets me here is how Blizzard is just failing to realize, okay, the diehards are going to play the game regardless of whether or not the PvE component is there. They're going to be pissed at Blizzard, but they're still going to play the game. Now, what about other people who are on the fence about the game? And that's a pretty wide selection because I don't think people are going to keep playing the game if Blizzard continues to keep disappointing their longtime fans. Honestly, I thought Overwatch was supposed to be some sort of passion project for Blizzard, but now it just kind of feels like it's their one of their envelopes to make more fucking money. And honestly... It's sad to see the game in this stature copying what other games are doing and then just ruining the one thing that can separate it from everything else. Every other generic battle royale or any other tacked on multiplayer shooter that is already copying skills from the heroes in Overwatch. Like Blizzard needs to realize that they need to do something to keep this game interesting. And the one thing that was going to do it, they're just taking it away. Why? Like when did... When did giving up just seem like a viable option for these game companies? Like, I think we've already waited long enough since 2019 for this. And the fact that we're all even able to remember that there was going to be a PvE component after so long should go to show how valuable this was to the game. I swear to God, if I have to push that payload one more time, where is the cool investment that I can have in the game besides making it the same remedial shit over and over again. I don't even know what to think about Overwatch anymore because some of the people that I know play it most kind of just drifted away from it with time and I see that happening with more and more of the player base. Fortnite can put no build into the game and they can make the game have that many more players. Why can't Overwatch do the same? Adding one game mode put that much more people on the game. And I would like to see Overwatch thrive. It was entertaining watching Overwatch League and the Overwatch World Cup. That was amazing stuff. And now I don't even hear about it anymore. And it just makes the game feel a lot more dead than it should be. Who wants to keep playing for skins? Skins and cosmetics and a new character can only go so far, man. Overwatch deserves more, and we as fans deserve a proper sequel to the game that we've been playing for so long. Why are developers just so keen on not going the extra mile? I just don't get it anymore. I remember when developers would push for this and strive for it as much as possible. Just like The Last of Us 2, not having multiplayer, which was in the first game, when the game dropped. But at least in Naughty Dog's case, they're going to try and be ambitious unlike Blizzard. 
We can wait for a better multiplayer. Us gamers, we just want a better game to play. If your game can be better, we'll give you all the time in the world. Look at Tears of the Kingdom. How long did it take for that game to come out? Any Nintendo game. We will wait as long as the game meets our standards. I don't see why it's so hard for developers to understand that. We already like your stuff and you're already a well-established name in the industry. Why not go for the extra mile when it comes to your fans? I could go on for a while, but I'm sure not everyone wants to hear this that long. I just hope Blizzard hears all the disappointment that everyone is expressing and changes their mind. If not, the future of Overwatch is definitely something that is going to be debatable. Is it going to die in a year or two? Who, who knows, honestly? If you ask me, I think that game's going to die pretty soon if they don't step it up. Because no one, and I mean no one, wants a repeat of Overwatch 1. Being free to play is one of the only things keeping Overwatch 2 alive. And I'm sure that they know this. Blizzard, you guys gotta step it up.